begin tonight with the Kicks Hawaii 4 exclusive, a scam alert you can't afford to miss. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. The housing market tight in Spokane and people are desperate to get into good homes. So desperate that they're falling for tricks that costs them thousands of dollars. KXY Force Kyle Simchuk working for you. Now he has a scam alert tonight you need to know about. This home on East Cortland is no longer for sale. It's not being rented, but a phony ad on Craigslist would like you to think that. Windermere Realtor Chris Connolly got a call yesterday from a client who just moved in here. There was a stranger at the door who said he was moving in too and had already paid rent. And I said, did you hear about this place on Craigslist? And he says, yes. And I said, I'm sorry, sir. I think you've been scammed. Scammed out of $3,600 and a place to live. We're seeing it in the real estate world as a growing problem uh, of scammers that are really trying to take advantage of a congested rental market. Scammers are downloading real photos and listings and posting their own fake ones on Craigslist. And what they ask people for say if you want this home you need to wire us a certain amount of money. It's not the first time Connolly has heard of this scam. He's seen his own listings appear on Craigslist before. He says renters using the site need to be careful. If you cannot get actual physical access to that home, that should be an immediate red flag that this person has no access to that home. And never wire money to a person you've never met, especially if you haven't seen the property. People are desperate to get into places, and I think that's why they're, you know, they're willing to put more at risk to try to get into a place. Connolly told me that realtors will report false ads to Craigslist when they find them, but with thousands of postings here in Spokane, those scammers can be hard to catch. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kyle Simchuk, KXLY4 News. Wow, $3,600, that's a lot of money. Thank you, Kyle.